Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back, and thank you for joining me for another cool toy and another spectacular video. This is the second one I'm doing from the museum. There may be echo. The camera may shake because I don't have any setup here yet, so I'm doing it in my little break room table. And if you saw my uh, latest update video on the build out, you would uh, probably recognize this table. So I don't have any bumpers around here to stop this toy. So this is all work in progress, ad libbing on the fly, not just what I'm saying, but what I'm doing. So let's hope it doesn't crash and burn. Anyway, appreciate your time as always. And uh, before we get rolling, get comfortable, man. Grab that coffee. Do you have your balada mug? Like, I, as a matter of fact, let's walk over here. I don't have anything in it right now, but you know what? In the spirit of clanking, in the spirit of P.T. Barnum promotion, let's just pretend that we're gonna clank I don't even have a spoon. I'll use my finger. How's that? <laughs> so sweeten it up, cream it up, whatever it is that you do, and grab a snack. Focus on the important things in life. And one of them is this cool toy and this video. And uh, with that, uh, what do I have here today? I have the Horikawa Mars Explorer that looks so damn robotic that I wish they never put his head in here, a human head. I would have preferred it was robot all the way, like jingle all the way, only a robot all the way. Anyway, the Mars Explorer, exploring, he runs into the space. He suddenly stops running. His mask and doors open and two guns pop out because you know what? Let's face it. Two guns are always better than one. With this, I agree with Harakawa. That's why John Wick has two guns and uh, Laura Croft has two guns in Tomb Raider. A lot of people have more than one gun, especially when it comes to toys. Anyway, the two guns pop out of the chest firing. I mean, he doesn't wait. He's not sitting around like, should I aim? No, nah, he's like, screw that, man. <laughs> Just open and fire blindly firing because he knows there's danger lurking at every corner of whatever planet he is on. And anyway, they blink with realistic sound. Then the guns retract, the mask and doors close, and he continues running again. So again, with this beautiful mug here, available for purchase, I might add, um, Let's see. Uh, no, I don't want to sound like Jeremy from the quarter, always pushing his coffee, you know, like, oh, today we have uh, uh, cocoa, cocoa with uh, cocoa beans. <laughs> I'm doing it as a joke because I don't even have, uh, I told you before, I don't even have a method under which you can buy this stuff right now. So, um, but I do like to, uh, to, to put on my P.T. Barnum hat once in a while. Anyway, so this artwork is really cool in this box because look at these guys. They're all hanging around here just waiting for something to shoot, you know, they're all serious and intent. Look at his face here. He's like, uh, Houston, we have a problem. What's your problem? I, I see something moving. Well, what if it's a friendly? Yeah, that's okay. I'm just gonna shoot anyway. Cause that's what they did back in the day. So here it is again, the side panel with all these patents. And I, I believe they had all these patents. There's a lot of action going on with this toy. So the toy itself, man, is a beautiful red. Thank God they didn't use that crappy brown that Horikawa's are famous for. Now, I mean, some of them are cool with the brown. As I was saying, I actually cut off, I think I turned the uh, video off by accident. I think because I'm holding this on an elevated surface and I put some pressure on it, I think I hit the up, uh, off button. That's why I got to stitch two halves together. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a beautiful red wood. Check out these litho details on here. And this is going to be a pain. As a matter of fact, if I can use my mug, not on that side. That's better. Hold on. There. Now I have two hands to work with. Okay. And it doesn't look like I'm going to break it or knock it over. You know, let me pan out a little bit. Oh, I guess I can't. Can I or no? No. All right. Anyway. Anyway, give me a sec here to reposition, recalibrate. Woo! Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Okay. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now I can continue with relative ease with two hands and I don't have to worry. See that mug comes in handy, not only as a mug, but also as a, an object to hold your phone. <laughs> so there you go, it serves multi-purpose. Anyway, so uh, unlike the usual Horikawas, this one is red and there's not too many red Horikawas. You can see it's stamped here, S-H. Now this door is pretty cool because it clips all the way on the side here, not like the ones that usually have a latch. This one just closes all the way and kind of clips onto the body on the side, which is really cool. It has these plastic arms, which are pretty unique to this toy. And now I'm looking inside it, they're pretty dusty. I guess like you need the old Q-tip to get inside there and clean. Previous owner must not have concerned himself with that. Anyway, here's the bottom. Got some big, Big rugged wheels, man. These wheels look like he can go off-roading. But then again, look at him on those planets. I mean, in fact, when you look at this art, right, this looks like um, it's like the like doom buggy wheels or something. <laughs> I mean, this is totally 60s, you know, when it comes to that. And anyway, the chest panel says Mars Explorer. So I guess Mars was always looked at as the uh, hostile planet because, you know, let's face it, that's where the god of war is on Mars, right? And then the uh, fly eye, as they call it, is lithographed on here. They actually lithographed these these uh, holes, you know, to what well, looks like holes, but they're actually just black ink, you know? And then the top of his head even has this kind of like radar pattern, nice chrome ear cap. So anyway, it's a really good looking toy. And uh, I waited quite a while to, to get it. And if you saw my build out video, I put just three Harakawas in the bottom of that shelf. I put my three favorite ones, the forklift, this, and the uh, space commander. Those are like my three favorites. So anyway, uh, now that we've rambled on long enough, does he work? Uh, well, he better. So let's turn him on and see what he does. And again, there's, I have, there's not, I can't let him run into the camera. He'll knock it over and I can't let him go off to the side. So it's gonna be very limited, but. It's not bump and go. That was easy enough, you know, because he came straight forward. Thank God I didn't have to chase him around. So let me know what you think of this uh, setup here. You know, I may just keep it on here. I think it looks kind of attractive, you know, a nice plain background. I'm not on the floor. If I just put some little, like, uh, sandbags or something around here, I don't even have to worry about stopping him. I can do the bump and goes on here. Uh, the lighting's a little, uh, you know, but uh, it is what it is. If you like it, let me know. Either way, I appreciate your time. Thumb up the video if you like the video, and let me know what you think of this toy. And again, if you're a lurker, please subscribe. I mean, it uh, only helps other collectors find this stuff, you know? And that's the whole purpose of this channel, man, is to get collectors into, you know, finding this stuff and uh, saving a piece of nostalgia and history that otherwise is going to be lost to time forever. With that, thanks again, my friends, and I'll talk to you. Litter.